Welcome back, Cave Dwellers. This is K Dub, also known as the 417 Manchild, where you can find me over on Instagram as the 417 Manchild. And you can find me, obviously, you found me here under the same name. And uh, you can find me as K Dub over on the Pop Goes the Culture podcast. So today we have a couple of toys from the Tick series. We have the. Um, Oh gosh, why am I blanking out on her name? I feel like a fool now. American Maid, yes, as I'm looking for the name. And of course, the Rackazog. So, if you remember these from the cartoon, this is actually, as you can see, that is from 1995. So, that's pretty zazzy. So, I, I have him floating around somewhere in one of my bins. I have to find him. I need to, I've seen this one a few times and never got him and uh, but I do have some of the old tick figures some of them hold up pretty good some of them do not but I will not keep you waiting too much longer I know some of these videos have been going long so uh, twist and chop American made it says it's a Bandai product again from 1995 for ages four and up so we're good so this is series two is what this is from and man i love the tick cartoon i don't know if anybody if, if you ever watched a tick cartoon comment below and let me know if you did i watched it pretty religiously so by that i mean in church no, i'm just kidding i watched it every saturday when it came on um what is going on with this packaging there we go Goodness gracious. No frills, no thrills, boys and girls. It is about as simple as it comes. She, for all these years, she's held up really nice. Oh, wait. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah. No. Twist? Does she? Oh, I see. So, whoa. Sure, 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 sure. So, American Maid was always a great character. Deflator Mouse was always trying to hit on hit on her Batman will oh I see there's a little thing back here so that gives you the oh, it's been a hot minute since I've had an action figure that actually did something man she looks good I mean her neck twists back and forth of course there's no articulation anywhere else except for the in the waist but these were 90s toys kids they weren't all your fancy pants that you <laughs> used to have or that you have now I mean there's they're about as simple as it gets, but we'll put her back here. Like I said, I'm trying to get through. Hey, 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 easy lady. A little too more, a little too many cocktails. So I'll put her hand back a little bit. Oh, there we go. It's all about finding balance, kids. And uh, this is Thrakazog, if you remember this episode. Consequently, that's where the uh, mucus tick comes into play, too. So, if you remember the cartoon, so let's take this all. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can because, again, I do collect the backs of these. And uh, I try to keep them in shape so I can get old and senile, which is only a few more years from now. And uh, be like, oh, I had those when I was a kid. But. Uh, I actually did get some of these back in the 90s when they came out. I always thought it was a little... What is the deal on these? I don't know. Alright. Be free! I don't know what that came from. We'll put that back. We'll need your tongue. So, Thrakazog, if you don't remember or just don't know... Uh, talked a lot like Tim Curry from uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show so that was awesome so let's and it had the little mouth that was independent of the thing here so all right so does he do anything he oh I see when you spin his arms around his tongue flails around it's <laughs> pretty cool that is fun so nothing fancy. Here's where the four screws holds him together. And just a great character. Must have for the 
tick collection for sure but you'll have to forgive me on the names I don't remember all these and I should have looked them up like a good YouTube presenter but uh, there's him I remember he was a bad I think everybody's no not everybody's a bad guy but he was like I think that was his deal like he wingnut or something was his name oh yeah the button doesn't make his <laughs> yeah it does look totally works um but yeah so there's him we'll just uh, nice try buddy uh oh he doesn't want to stay let me get him like this i wish i could have found the mucus tick done all these but there he is somewhere i'm missing the bullet for his head it shot off but obviously there's the mechanism for him so but that's all right i will find it but for all intents and purposes there you go and then of course gotta have arthur so like I said some of them didn't hold up very well like he his body yellowed the arms and stuff not too bad he uh his thing is you push this button here and he's a bunny no just kidding he's a moth so that's fun that's a nice mechanism that pretty much is gonna stay intact and work if i remember right he doesn't like to stay no he's gonna stay for me all right cool um sorry american maid let's put you and you too buddy let's move you over here where you're still on screen let's kind of get you out of the way let's put arthur back here with his crazy big wings let's put her which is the, actually the star of the whole thing here and of course you can't have it without the tick so his thing i think was yeah push down and he leaps into action leaps into action Boing! uh so yeah he didn't hold up too well either he's starting to turn a greenish color in the teal realm i guess but it's still super cool to have a tick figure and if you're going to have all these you've got to have the tick i'm the tick i can't do a cool tick voice like he's got but oh chum spoon so yeah so he's the one that doesn't stand up very well like he could benefit from some articulation let's put his arms out a little more forward maybe that'll give him some balance there we go see it's all about balance kids so there you go that is the group that i have so far i've got um the mucus takes somewhere i gotta find him in a tote so uh like i said you know on the channel here i'm unboxing a lot of toys that for some reason or you know whatever i put up in the attic and you know just with moving and stuff you know it's just like hey i bought it and put it away and uh because i open everything you know if i didn't holy cow i'd need a whole other house to hold everything but um yeah so if you like what i'm doing here come along for the ride like i said you know i've got i've got everything from you know i'm going to be opening up some new wrestlers like china here and i've got uh some a little bit older marvel legends like the valkyrie i'm building a valkyrie army we'll talk about that when that happens and um i've got some older wrestling figures and just anything you know i've got everything from stuff that just came out like that china just came out recently all the way stuff to <laughs> 1995 and probably earlier so but if you like what you're seeing then you know come along stay along for the ride like subscribe share if you got a friend that loves this kind of stuff comment let me know what i'm doing right what i'm not doing right you know whatever if there's something that you think i can improve on let me know and i'll do my best you know and uh just be good to one another and happy toy hunting oh yeah also go over to my 417 man child over on instagram and give me a like over there i'll take other pictures and uh we'll like and you know like my stuff over there comment let me know what you want to see there's a guy that wanted some uh wanted spider-man fighting wolverine so i did a little photo series of 
you know, of course I'm getting better, I'm getting more props, and I'm going to get into backgrounds and everything, so it'll actually be really cool stuff, and I almost knocked over the tick with my, because I can't talk without my hands moving, um, so, but, yeah, if you want to go over there and say, hey, I'd like to see this, or, you know, show me a better picture of American Made, or whatever, just let me know, and I'll do my best to accommodate, and, uh, but until then, happy toy hunting, and everybody be safe out there. Later.